Oh, hey guys, welcome to Free Speed Friday. And today we're talking about uh, elastic laces or speed laces, or some people call them quick laces, but there's a number of different varieties of types of quick laces or speed laces. And um, I figured we'd just kind of quickly talk about what they are, um, who they're for, and, uh, and should we use them? Maybe they're for uh, triathletes. Uh, they could be for um, people that have difficulty tying their shoes. Uh, my kids are young, so maybe they're a perfect item for them. I don't know. Uh, but the idea is that you just, you're able to slip your feet in faster and get going on your run. So that you're not actually taking time from your race to tie your shoe. Uh, most of them are just like an elastic style lacing that you lace through your shoes the same way that you lace through like your normal like nylon laces. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different brands. The, there's actually a company called Speed Lace that makes a pair. Uh, and I think that they lace up slightly different. Um, and they're a bit more complex, but I think you can open those up wider. So if that's something that you're looking for, you might look at that brand. Um, there's another company called it's called like uh, Extinia or, or something like that. Um, and they're the ones that have like, um, they almost look like little knots through them. Uh, when you pull the, the laces tight, the, the knots flatten out so that you can lace them um, or you can tighten your shoes or whatever you need to do. Uh, but then they still have that elastic give. Uh, there's, let's see, there's, um, Yanks, which is, I think they're, they, they're actually one of the, I think they're sponsored, they actually sponsor the US triathlon, um, USAT. So you may see them at a lot of races or you may see their um, branded version of their Yanks product. Uh, real similar, elastic lacing, and then they have like a locking piece at the top uh, that you can kind of pull loose and tighten um, pretty quickly. Uh, and then this brand that I have on here is called Lock Laces. Um, again, it's just a real simple um, locking mechanism. And then uh, just a little end cap to close off your, um, the laces that you can cut to size to your particular needs. Uh, so yeah, so a whole bunch of different types. Oh, there's another um, lacing type, uh, Boa. And you guys are probably familiar with these because if you cycle, they're on a lot of cycling shoes and it's a basically a, a twist uh, piece and they use, um, I guess that's, I guess that's like a, a firm nylon, almost like a wire lacing uh, that the boa, you know, actually as you turn it, it tightens. So that's also maybe uh, another type of, of quick lacing system. So um, yeah, the idea is, you know, with this, I don't want to just talk about uh, free bike speed, you know, um, as a lot of, you know, people would refer to free speed, they would definitely be thinking about bike speed. I don't really want to do that. I want to just go through some random products, uh, that triathletes use. And this one's kind of a no brainer. I think a lot of triathletes, they're not going to be like shocked when I mention speed laces. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. There are people that are new to racing maybe that, um, that are just, you know, assume like, Hey, let's throw the running shoes to the side. And if you guys take a little bit of extra time um, in preparation and use something like this uh, speed lacing system of some sort, doesn't have to be the lock laces, uh, but something, um, you will, you know, you'll cut off a couple, I, I don't know, I would say like 30 seconds. I have no idea. Actually, um, we actually, what we'll do, we should actually, let's go find out how much time it'll save to uh, drop these laces in versus regular laces. Yeah, be right back.
nice little jog and I, I really can't tell too much of a difference between um, even regular laces and the elastic laces. If I had to, I would probably prefer the regular laces. It might be just a, a touch more comfortable, but I was on some pretty technical trails and I really, you know, I could, I would have no problem picking up those shoes and doing like a marathon or like a difficult uh, road race and, and not stressing about having the lace system be a problem. So uh, I think that they're worth picking up. Um, these are the lace locks. So if you're trying to decide like which ones to get, you, they're all really cheap. So try them all and uh, see what you prefer. But I, I mean, I would start with the lace locks. They work for me. I've tried a couple things and really they they all seem to work fine for me. Uh, the lace locks are fairly cheap. I think it's like two, a, a pack of two for $17. I'll, I'll put a link in the description and you can snag some uh, for your for your triathlon season coming up. Definitely worth having. I think, you know, you're looking at 20, 30 seconds of time saved, um, which, you know, it's not a ton of time in like an Ironman race, but if you're doing anything shorter, you might as well have that free time. So uh, that's it for this one. Make sure you like and subscribe the videos. It helps out the channel. Um, and if you're into this sort of thing, there's like a notification bell. You can hit that bell and you'll be notified of new and upcoming videos, especially those free Friday videos. All right, guys, talk to you guys next time.